Oh my God, y'all. All right, you see? Just imagine me having on a wig and having a, or get a comb and stick it up. But it's time to wash this nasty stuff. <laughs> Gotta make sure my edge is still there because these wigs will, if you don't take them off right, they will rip your edges out. But they there, <laughs> they are there. And I'm just using my hands to take my hair out. Um, like I don't do with my kids. Well, with my, like, like, <laughs> like with my kids, I don't comb my hair out before I wash it. Um, I think I only make my oldest daughter do it because, yo, her hair is a lot, man. It's a lot. So. We're almost done taking out this one side. So I'm gonna go over here and continue on just taking my braids out. So we can go ahead here and wash this nasty stuff. It even feel nasty, like, because I still oil my hair, my, you know, my scalp with my braids and, and that's all I feel. Just gunk and oil, like, Ooh, I can't wait for this color to grow out my hair so I can put it back in. Y'all, and my hair itch so bad. It's so dirty. Oh, yo. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. I'm going to take out the other side off camera and I'm going to be right back. Ooh. I need one of them, um, the hair little combs that you use when you washing your hair and you could get all in because I cut my nails, but I trimmed them down for my press ons. And now I can't feel myself scratching my scalp, but it itched so bad. So, oh my God, y'all. All right, you see? Just imagine me having on a wig and having a, or get a comb and stick it up. But it's time to wash this nasty stuff. So like I said, I'm gonna be using a hand slippery tresemme. And I like to let conditioner sit in my hair before I wash, but I'm not going there today. I'm gonna just go ahead and wash my hair. Um, and I'll be right back. I was sick all last week. I was sick all last week. Like, it was bad. To the point where I was literally wearing this hat around the house and a sweater, scarf. I had on like three pairs of sweatpants, three shirts, three pairs of socks. Cause I was so cold. But, I'm like, I need to do something to get my life back on track, make myself feel a little bit more prettier, you know? So it's time to self care and get everything situated. So, these scrunchies right here, bomb. Probably because I made them, but still bomb. Like, I don't know how I did it, but they stretch wide enough for my hair and for my oldest daughter hair. Like I told you, she got a lot of hair, right? And I could double, double twist it on her hair. How? Cause it's not like a large scrunchie. But yes, I did make all of these. All right, so. My hair is super bad. Really, really bad. 
But anyway, I'm using my kids' leave-in conditioner. Can to leave-in conditioner for kids. Um, that's what I got. And let me show y'all my blow dryer. <laughs> Look at the comb. It's bad, but it worked. Let me just say that this is not the channel where um, I'm teaching y'all how to take care of your hair. No, because I don't take care of my own hair. When it comes to my kids, yes, I take care of their hair. But me, no. I just do whatever I want to do with my hair. blow dryer ever smell like fire this is a real old blow dryer i feel like we had this for like a really long time right so i'm gonna just leave it off for a little bit before i blow dry this part and i can just start braiding on this side so i braid my little bow wows coming down and like back so I really don't usually make a straight part, but I guess we could do one today. Or at least a tent, because y'all know how I am with these middle parts. <sighs> the stress already. So good thing is, oop, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, We gonna make it at least look decent, all right? <laughs> wow, yo! <laughs> oh, my lips is ashy. All right, so that look a little decent, and now we just going for. I like to make the first braid skinny. Here, I'm gonna just take that back a little bit. And y'all can braid it like really any way y'all want. Braid it down, braid it back. I like to braid it down. first braid done and just keep going down Christmas is this weekend. What y'all doing for Christmas? Like, my family and I, we are going to the hotel on um, Christmas Eve. And it's just going to be me and my little family on Christmas Day. Well, Christmas Eve. And, you know, let them open up their gifts and stuff just with their siblings and mom and dad. But um, Christmas Day, we are going to go to the grandparents' house. Yeah, I don't care how that look, but I'm gonna go to the grandparents' house and have a little Christmas party, chill with the in-laws and everything. And, you know, just, just enjoy ourselves, eat some good food. I gotta make some um, 
some Rotel. My boyfriend's sister asked me to make some Rotel. And Rotel is just like a cheese dip with um, meat. And I had some, um, we had some chips and everything. So I need to go to the grocery store to get the stuff for that. So. And I'm kind of upset because the hotels we usually go to, they always have like a stove in it. But this one, I was more concerned about the space. I wanted more space opposed to like the amenities or what the room actually offer because we're taking a little tiny, it's like three feet Christmas tree and they have like games and activities. So I wanted more space. And I, th this whole time, like I literally just looked at the, the little itinerary booking little confirmation the other day and me and my boyfriend we were just deciding you know just getting everything in order what we want to do are we going to make one trip two trips you know decorate the room before the girls got there or after we were just deciding you know coming to last last minute deets or i don't know but when i looked at the thing it don't have a a, a stove enough it just got a refrigerator and a microwave so, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. We're going to have a seafood little dinner. I'm going to make some Alfredo. Um, have our little crabs and shrimps and mussels and everything. But it ain't got no stove. So, we're going up there on Saturday. Y'all know check-in usually like three. I believe it's three. So, I'm going to cook everything Saturday morning. And um, just take it up there. The good thing is that it, <laughs> the good thing is it does have a microwave and a refrigerator, so our food won't go bad, and it could be nice and hot. Even though we will have to heat it up, but when we go to the family house on Christmas, and we're definitely going to, you know, take a plate home to heat up. So it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, what else? Oh, my daughter's, my oldest daughter, one of her Christmas gifts, y'all. So let me tell y'all about her. She, and I think I mentioned in my last video that she, um, she like Legos. And it's going to be a tester to see if she actually watched my videos. So, yeah, we're going to see if she know what she going to get before Christmas. But she wanted this Lego set, right? And she's the type that will save her money. Um, her birthday's in March, so she will save all of her money from March until she's ready to spend it. So she recently started buying her her own Lego sets. And when I tell you all the Lego sets, like $60 plus, that's really how much they cost. So it's this one Lego set that she, the first Lego set she bought by herself was $400. And it was, what was it? I think a, a piano or a guitar. It is one of them. But it actually make noise and stuff like that. Like the keys or whatever. I think it's a piano. Um. So that was $400. So she, she asked me, can I buy it? And I'm like, wait, hold up, what? She's like, I got my own money. Can you just order it? So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I could just order it. So I ordered it for her. Came, she put it together. Is that her dad house? But I wanted to record her. I wanna I actually want her to make her own YouTube channel. You know, just putting stuff together because that's what she watched. She watched people paint on YouTube. She watched people build things, play games, review games, and so do my little uh my babies they watch toy reviews and stuff like that so why not make your own channel and she down for recording but it's like she want to build the stuff at her dad house and i'm like listen i'm not taking my ring light phone uh tripod all that stuff to your dad house just do it here but it's really no space here for her to you know keep her things up and you know like after she built it she got this little 
chest, I think. It's not a chest. It's like a dresser, but she don't use it for a dresser. She use it to store her things. So when you open it, she got all her little Lego sets. And she wanted some light so the light could shine down on them. So it's fine. She could build it at her dad house. But I felt like she could have made her own little YouTube chip. But anyway, so it's, a, it's another one that she wanted. And this one was only $250, I think. It was like $250 in this. It was a typewriter. So she has the money. My baby got her money to get her typewriter, right? But she don't want to buy it because she want extra money. She want money. She want to have more money after she buy her stuff. She don't want to be broke, basically. She don't want to be broke. So, mommy and daddy, we got it for her. And she could keep her money. And I'm so hyped. Like, I'm like, all right, we gonna get this one to her last. And he like, no, just let her open up her stuff. And I'm like, but no, it's the best one. So it gotta be last. And he like, girl, just let that girl open up her stuff. Like, it don't matter. Just wrap it up. You ain't gonna be able to tell what it is anyway. And me, I'm like, yes, I am. But I don't know. Maybe the sequence of events will allow me to allow her to open it up last. Because I want to get her reaction, yo. I really do. And she going to be so hype. I'm just so happy because she's a good kid. She's a really good kid. But yeah, y'all. I don't know. I'm just so happy for Christmas. I'm excited. I don't even want nothing, honestly. I just really want to spend time with my family. That's all I really want to do. Spend time with my family. Oh, man, I forgot. I got a... All right, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and braid this side the same way I did this side. So, right here, it's just one, two, three, four, four, like, fragment-sized braids. And then it's, like, two bigger braids on the back. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the same thing to this side. Hold up. Is that thinning? Because those wigs will go right in the trash real quick and I'll go right back to wearing my little ponytails and silk presses. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We could go ahead and just braid it on up or you are down. And I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. Braids are done. These braids are much bigger than these, but it's still flat. So, I am going to go in with two different kinds of oil. One is the Wild Grove, and the other is Jamaican Castor Oil. I really like the Jamaican Castor Oil. When I tell y'all these two, oh, 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 hold up. These two oils right here are the only kind of oils where I see actual growth. Well, the PS is natural too. Um, but like I said, I always miss the cell. I always miss their cell. And I think it's because the emails go to um my spam. Yeah, the emails go to my spam. And I'm an impulse shopper, so if I see a brand that I like that has a sale come to my email. I'm definitely going to check out their website, see what they have on sale. But since they come to my spam, I never know unless I go on Instagram. And I'm, I'm really, I'm on Instagram. But when I tell y'all I really post and get off, I really post and get off. I'll scroll on TikTok before I scroll on Instagram. So I will miss it every single time. But the Wild Grove, the P.S. is natural, and the um, Jamaican castor oil are what really help my kids' hair to grow, especially that middle child. Her hair, non-existent. Non-existent. But I got one little thing braided in the back, and I just literally tucked that in to the other braids. And there we have it. I use stockings. And I'm just trying to see if I got any more. 
Where's that? There we go. All right, so this is like one whole leg, but not a whole leg anymore, but I just cut the whole leg off of the stockton. And then I use even got to be, I mean, this is not got to be. This is some adhesive hold. And I just spray it on my hairline. Well, a little bit above the hairline. dry on food. So you want to make sure that it's completely dry and not sticky. Like it's still sticky to me. So I'm going to go in and just continue to blow dry on cool. And then I'm going to get my elastic band. And I like to keep it around my neck, honestly. So I won't lose it because I always lose things. And I'm gonna blow dry that on cool until it's completely dry. So it's dry. So I'm going to just cut it a little bit, pull it up. So I'm going to take some spritz and just put it like on the hairline. I like to spray it on my finger opposed to directly on the um, lace or the cap. So. This is the um, even. Uh, adhesive spray because that was lifting up a bit. I'm just going over it with my finger, not dousing it too much in the spray. So you can use either one, the spritz or the even. I feel like if it's not lifting, then definitely use the spritz. If it's lifting a bit, use the even. So I like to put that on and just Put that on again till it's dry and use the blow dryer on cool until it's completely dry. Right. So now I am using this Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the number, the shade 14. And I'm using, I'm going to say the darker side, um, but... They look like the same color to me now. So I'm taking a little tiny flat brush and just going over the perimeter.
Okay, y'all. So I am doing a voiceover for the remainder of the video because I am I was at work. So the wig that y'all saw on the wig head, that was for another video. That was never for this video. So I basically just this is going pretty fast, but I basically just put the wig on and I used that same Eben adhesive to hold it down. So I put it on and put the the elastic band to melt the lace and I blow dry that on cool until that was completely dry too. All right, so I'm just the finger detangling it because it is a synthetic wig. And then I'm just wiping off the excess even spray glue or whatever it is. And then going back over the lace with some more of that same cream foundation in the shade 14. Okay, so the plan was to just finger detangle, mousse the wig down, and just revive it. But I wanted to try a different style. And I didn't want to use my human hair wigs if just in case I messed it up and I didn't want to have to do no extra plucking on those wigs just in case you know so I really didn't know how I felt about this style when I seen it multiple times on TikTok I'm like yeah it look cute but at the same time I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm always the type of person where it's like a hairstyle will look real cute, but I always will feel like it won't look cute on me. Because I'm forever doing a middle part with a straight straight weave, straight wig, whatever. I love a straight middle part. But I'm going to try to do the claw clip little style. And here I'm just parting out my baby hairs and just seeing how I want my baby hairs to go. Twisting them down and getting them out the way. So making this little part right here, you know, connecting the two little uh they not bangs i don't know what they call y'all but connecting those two little pieces was the hardest and i feel like it was only hard because this wig it is so full it has so much hair like y'all gonna see me keep trying to get it out the way and everything but it's a lot of hair on this wig so that's another reason why i wanted to do the claw clip and I also have a video to do where it's required of me to wear my hair back. It's a little collaboration. So I'm just trying to see what hairstyle with my wig will suffice. So I won't have to do the space buns just yet. Because um, I honestly don't have the hair for the space buns. But that's why I'm just trying to see what will look right with my hair pulled back a little bit. So I can still do this video before it's due like i need to hurry up and get it done but i'm just taking those two little pieces and i thought i was putting them together but the rubber band that i used it popped but it was fine because i i remembered i didn't put no got to be on it right so i sprayed it with some got to be combed that in and usually you would go ahead with the straightener comb but this is a synthetic wig and i honestly forgot y'all that it was synthetic but i'm just Spraying those two pieces down, getting it flat and getting this extra hair out of the way to make sure that, you know, it's flat down. so now i'm just cutting my baby hairs and i'm only doing these two right now because i really like the long little curly little pieces of hair on the side but i don't at this point right here i didn't know whether or not i was going to cut them but i did so i'm just doing simple baby hairs i use got to be got to be glue and i use um mousse so now I'm just parting out a part, part, wow. I'm parting out a portion of the hair to start the ponytail for the claw clip. Going over it with got to be. And I really now wanna try this style on one of my human hair wigs cause I really want this part to be super flat. But the way that they have the tracks laid, it's just not getting as flat as I want it to get. But it's fine. So. 
put that in a ponytail, straighten it out a little bit, and just put the claw clip on. It's not supposed to be super neat or anything, but literally, y'all, that's that's it. That's the style. So here is where I decided to go in and cut those long pieces. And this is also the part where I remember that it's a synthetic wig. So I went in. My flat irons is on 450, and it didn't burn. And usually, I believe the pack say that it could go up to 310, I think. Don't get me to lying, y'all. But it was on 450, and it didn't burn. All right, y'all. So this is how the hair is looking and i love it i really do um i just gotta wipe around my perimeter i still got some little alcohol right there so i'm gonna wipe around the perimeter and i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup I didn't think this claw clip style claw clip yet. I didn't think this style would look right on my head, but um, yeah. Period. <laughs>